in this video, we are exploring the A plus rated Frisco schools. So if you're new to Frisco or you've been thinking about moving to Frisco, this is a video you are not gonna wanna miss, so stay tuned. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome, glad to meet you. My name is Wendy Pinnell. I am a local real estate broker here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. If you wanna know everything there is to know about living in Dallas, Texas, or where we are today, which is Frisco, Texas, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click on that bell. We've been in the business since 2007, and today we're gonna be taking a look at Frisco Schools. Because I'll tell you what, Frisco has so much to offer in their school district that if you don't be careful, you're going to miss some of the fabulous, unique things they have. You know, like I mentioned earlier, you know, Frisco has an A plus niche rating and it's the seventh best school district in all of Texas. It's huge, by the way, 65,000 students, 11 high schools, including where we are right now, which is Centennial High School. They have 73 total schools, that's amazing. And they managed to maintain a 15 to one teacher-student ratio. Well, listen, in this video, we are gonna explore three things. We're gonna talk about extracurricular activities in Frisco. We're gonna talk about the unique things that Frisco does to help students of all ages succeed. You know, and then we're gonna pop over to Collin College and we're gonna talk about the community college, what it has to offer, and how it helps transition students into a four-year university. All right, so without further ado, tell you what, let's head out to our next stop. Stay tuned. Well, we are out here at the Star to talk about Frisco School's extracurricular and I'm sure you're looking behind me going, Wendy, what are you doing out here at this giant area? Obviously is about the Dallas Cowboys. Why would you be here talking about Frisco extracurricular activities? Well, that is a very good question. And I'll tell you what, this right here is an example of what made Frisco schools incredible, what makes them unique, what makes them something you're gonna wanna look into. All right, when Frisco was first kind of making its way onto the map, Frisco leadership had big plans. They did not want Frisco to be a bedroom community, right? Not that there's anything really wrong with the bedroom community, but that is not what Frisco had in mind. So Frisco established this beautiful idea known as a tax increment reinvestment zone. And basically it was an incentive for big name sports teams to come to Frisco and make their headquarters here. And that's exactly what they did. Right here in Frisco, you have the Dallas Cowboys, you have the Stars, you have Texas Rangers, you have all of them out here in various capacities, right? <clears throat> now, what they did with this as an incentive, they came here, but the sports teams had a caveat, okay? This is what Frisco leadership said. They said, you have to let our high school teams use your facilities. See, now that's the amazingness and the brilliance a Frisco leadership because now Frisco doesn't have to, you know, make big bond programs to build stadiums. Like Allen, Texas had this massive bond program and they have an incredible football stadium, right? But the taxpayers are having to pay for it. Well, not here in Frisco because all of the students get to use these incredibly professional, beautifully maintained facilities. So yeah, that is the benefit of what they call the TERS and what makes Frisco schools fabulous. But lest you think Frisco is only about extracurricular, they're not, okay? They're not just about athletics, right? They're not. They're also got wonderful fine arts, right? They have all kinds of music programs. They've got band. They even have guitar and harp <laughs> at some of their schools. So overall, yeah, extracurricular plays a massive role not just in what they offer students, but also in how they fund the entire school district. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you a little bit around here. I want you to see this incredible facility that Frisco students use, get to use, and then we'll head on over to our next stop. So let's go. Well, we are out here at our second stop. We're at the Career and Technical Education Center. 
because I really wanted to talk to you about how Frisco sets their students up to succeed, really beginning early on and then definitely through those high school years. And this Career and Technical Education Center, I absolutely love it because it allows students to dabble instead of commit. So to try out different career paths, you would take, you know, you could take your full day of regular high school and then come here after that. And I love that because so much of the time students don't really know what they want to be, right? They don't want to commit to a full-time, you know, automotive or full-time marketing if they just don't know. And this is a great, fantastic setup for letting your students kind of experiment around. Now, at the elementary level, they also have some great options of collaborative learning, flexible seating. They have their amazing Bright Academy, which has some phenomenal offerings, very unique, has a very limited enrollment period because it's so popular. Anyway, just wanted you to see that, that uniqueness. I just love what Frisco ISD is doing here. And I think it's actually very rare to let the students kind of experiment. Okay, we're gonna wrap it up from here and head on over to our third stop. So stay tuned. Well, you know, I thought we'd go ahead and drop by Collin County College because Collin County College is one of the top community colleges in the state and it offers both high school students and early, you know, just postgraduates so much in preparing them both for life or a four-year university, if that's where they're headed as well. So, you know, they're really known for their engineering and technology department here at Collin County College. And tell you what, they're the number one best school for computer science in Texas. They're also the seventh best nursing program in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, the fifth best paralegal program. Now, what's really cool, one thing that's really cool about Collin County College that I really like is if you're enrolled here, they have a program where you can transfer into University of Texas at Dallas. And I can tell you if you know anything about that college, it is very prestigious. It's known as the MIT of the South. It's not easy to get into. So easier to get into Collin County. You can also do dual credit at the high school level, and then that ensures you that smooth transfer. So I absolutely love that. Anyway, this wraps up our stops on the Frisco schools. We're gonna head on out and wrap up our vlog tour. So let's go. we are out here at the Frisco Library wrapping up our Frisco Schools vlog tour. You know, because I thought what better place to wrap up a tour, you know, in a city that values education as much as Frisco does than the library, right? But listen, we need to talk about some growing pains that Frisco's having, you know, and Frisco is growing at a massive, massive pace. Like in 2020, it grew at like 6% per year. And that involves the school. They're adding like 2,000 to 3,500 students every year. Now, Frisco has this very, very cool model they call the small school model where they limit enrollment. Elementary can't have more than 700 students. Intermediate middle school can't have anywhere from like a thousand. So they, you know, aim for like 800 to a thousand and the high schools are limited to 2200. So what happens is they're having to build schools constantly and they're having to redistrict. And let me just tell you, a lot of the parents are not happy with how the redistricting is going. Also, you can live in one school district and you go to re-enroll your child or enroll your child and be told that even though you're in that district, your child can't attend and they'll say that they'll bus you to another district. Yeah, so even if you live in that district, your child may not be able to attend because of this small school model, right? So that does kind of present some problems, constantly building new schools, right? Let me tell you how it affects the high school level, right? Is it makes a division of the talent, right? So if you compared like Allen High School, which has like 4,400 students, or, you know, Duncanville High School, which has like 4,300 students, right? And those schools with no limitations on enrollment, they don't have to divide the talent, right? So they can bring together a majorly great football team, which they do, but in Frisco, they're not doing that because they're, they're not going to exceed 
that maximum enrollment, so they're constantly dividing that athletic talent. Anyway, so yeah, just wanted to make you aware of those growing pains. And tell me, listen, was this video helpful? Do you feel like you have a better understanding of Frisco schools now? I sure hope it was. Listen, if it was, head on back to my YouTube channel because you're gonna find a lot more videos just like it. And listen, if you have a move in your future, you know what, scroll on down to the description section. You're gonna find our Let's Find Home questionnaire because we would love to help you get settled in Frisco or any other of the many, many cities and suburbs here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Listen though, in the meantime, thank you so much for joining us today and have a great day.